Mike here, glad you could join me. Now, I think I failed to explain how on Earth rotating faster than what the moon is moving around the Earth, taking 27 days to complete one orbit, can leave a shadow that travels from west to east on the Earth in one day. Dit Ra, who contacted me on Skype, had all the math worked out, even pi to the one millionth place, explaining to me, Mike, it just doesn't work. The moon cannot leave a shadow on the Earth traveling west to east due to the rotation velocity of the Earth. And I said, David, it actually can. And once I explained it to him and how simple it was and easy to understand, according to what Team Heliocentric says, David finally realized that it is 100% possible. And that's all we are looking for. Does Team Heliocentric's model explain something reasonable and possible? And if the answer to that is yes, then we don't want to run videos debunking them because we will come off looking as stupid. However, seems to be a little too late now because there is a lot of Globe Earth videos out there that are pointing out that we are dumb as a box of rocks. However, if you have stuck with me, you do not have to be numbered among those rocks. Now, look at the screen with me. You see the sun and the moon moving in front of each other. This is what we will see during the lunar eclipse, August 21st, 2017. Notice that the area the moon has to move in is extremely small. So I want you to picture, if you will, like a spotlight coming from the sun down to earth at an angle as the moon passes in front of that small point from the spotlight start. And try to picture in your mind, if you will, what the shadow will look like at the end of this. All the moon has to do is cross in front of this small little spot or area where the sun can leave a shadow from the moon to the earth. As the moon crosses across this little small spot, it'll leave a shadow from that torus to the next torus, leaving a wide, fast-moving, arcing shadow faster than the rotational velocity of the earth itself. This is how they explain it, and this is how it works. In this part of the video, I went ahead and ate the frog and animated this for you. Notice how slowly our little moon is moving. That is a small white dot on the right as it leaves a shadow across a rotating spinning earth. This is how Team Heliocentric describes their model working because the moon just has to pass the small point of light, the light fanning out, fanning a shadow across the earth itself, picture like a closet with the closet door open and a very, very bright light inside. The light will fan out into the room beyond it, and if you pass an object in front of that light at the location of the closet door where the light is being emitted, that shadow of that object will pan across the room very quickly. This is what they are explaining, and this is what they claim their model states. I see no reason to debunk this. It, it seems reasonable. It works, and this is Mike. Please like and subscribe.